All right, today we are going to be doing another GSAP tutorial because you guys love this so much. So today we are going to be doing a very interesting preloader and we are building on a much simpler preloader that I did uh, in a previous video. Basically, I think it's the first preloader that I ever made on this channel. This is going to be super cool. So you can replace the image that is in this preloader with a logo, with something specific to the website or something branding related to the website that the preloader is on. And I think it's very awards worthy. If you add this to a website, I think it's going to add that little je ne sais quoi. And yeah let's get into it all right so all the work that we are going to be doing on this preloader is going to be from the dashboard so we're not going to be using the editor all right we're gonna use the elementor custom code so you need to have elementor pro for this but you can also install a code snippet plugin if you don't have an elementor pro and you can put your code in there all right so i'm going to be adding a new code snippet here so i'm going to have all the code in here it's going to be html it's going to be css and javascript and everything is going to be in here all right so i'm going to call it a preloader with image you can name it whatever you want this is up to you and we're going to leave the location of this code so basically when when the pay when the website loads this will be the very first thing that will load it makes sense right because it's a preloader so if you put it in the body start it's not going to work if you put it in the body end it's not going to work although the we have uh, javascript here you have to have it in the head to work all right i'm going to bring in my code drop my code in here easy as that okay and that is it all right let's just publish this published it before so you have not seen that on camera but we can edit the conditions here so i have no conditions conditions meaning this preloader will for example in this case if i had a, this condition will load on the entire page so whenever you click or a link on the website it's going to load the preloader i don't i think that's a little bit overkill and i would not recommend it what i would do is choose singular and say front page my front page is kind of ugly but let's leave it like that for now and let's just have a look all right so let's see what we have built here okay i have to refresh this page so now we have a counter this is how it's working and voila so what you can change here is almost everything in terms of, in terms of design so the layout is basically the gray or overlay that you see uh, as the loader loads right so i have it gray but uh, we can say black let's update let's go back to see how it looks and it's looking so much better right now right it's a bit more polished of course we can change the color pink uh, it's nasty so here there's nothing else that you should change just this part the background okay here if you change the overlay width for example let's make it a hundred percent and let's see what happens and i need to refresh so i will need to refresh every single time so let's see the image is going to have a wider width i don't necessarily like that to be honest i would say you can even go to 50 or 40 for this uh, it depends on what image you have so let's just update and let's see what happens um yeah i think it's a little bit more put together right and you have to keep in mind the if you want to balance the for example the the word welcome is a little bit wider than the image so in my case i think 60 was almost perfect so I will leave it at 60 and we will see if it looks good. All right, we can also change the height of the image here. So we could say, let's say 50 the images, images in the terms of the container uh, in which the images are. So we will have a look at our uh, HTML. So we will discuss this. 
all right so let's see what happens so you see now the the counter is a little bit higher so it's a little bit more condensed you can do that as well right all right so let's go further to image contain so we have image contain here let's see what happens if we change the width to 40 let's say i'm being a little bit more dramatic to see the exact change so we're gonna go through all this so you can figure out what would what you would need to change in your use case as you can see the image is a little bit too too small right so we could maybe leave the height to 100 uh the width 40 and let's have another look sorry this is going to take a little bit longer because i want to go over everything i mean it doesn't look bad but also you have to keep in mind that, that the word welcome is a little bit too big maybe you could reduce that and play around you know you need to play around with values here all right so if you change this or you don't want it at all or you just don't let's just remove the minus here okay and you will see that the image has changed but the way it enters into the picture into the yeah so it goes the other way around this is nice as well if you want to go for that so it is all up to you i will leave it as i previously had it right and you can change it in your own code and project all right so as you can see here this is the color of the text so we could change it to let's say uh, mm -hmm, crimson that was the word so i'm gonna update this and let's go and have a look oh crimson is red mm, okay <laughs> all right i i thought it's um beigey kind of color okay so i'm not gonna go with this red i'm gonna just say white okay let's say white and leave it at that and yeah you can also change the the the, the position of the logo logo being the the word welcome so let's say if we say 30 percent from the top yeah what happens Let's update. Uh-huh. So, you see, uh, all these values go hand in hand, right? So, I'm going to say this and leave it at that. So, you can play with these values in CSS. Adjust them as you need them to be working for your use case. And we can move on to our HTML so in html the only thing that you need to change is the image so i have the same and the same image here you can change it with whatever image you want let's see if we remove half of this images what happens i'm going to update and let's see As you can see, the, the, the way the images are coming in and how they are flying, flying, I think that's placing. <laughs> I don't know if that's even a word. Anyway, how they come in is a little bit slower and it's not that dramatic. So if you want a more dramatic look, you could uh, even add more. Let's see if we add more images or more duplicates of the same image, better said. pretty nice i think it's i think it's more interesting if you have more images so again up to you if you want to have this uh, effect be more dramatic or less dramatic you can work from here all right so the logo is this and we can call it whatever we don't have to call it a logo if you are going to change this class here make sure that you change it everywhere where this word appears in the code otherwise it will not work so we can say let's say hello and update yep i mean nothing extraordinary so that's where you change it keep in mind this is not really a logo it's just something that you 
use as text to welcome your users also you can change the font size here so you could say let's say uh, two rem instead of pixels oops all right and i'm going to update and let's see how this looks it's smaller it's much smaller it doesn't look that good so maybe we can go a little bit bigger uh, i would say 10 let's see yes this is good i think this is nice it's looking really good and if you want to to add a font family to your text of course you would want that you can add it here under counter logo and peep from paragraph all right so this is uh, where you add the family font family all right so let's update let's reload as you can see it has taken effect it's different you can see it that much here but it is uh, let's also add some font weight and i will go with let's say 600 update and it's bigger so i think we get it right this is css and html so far all right in the code here in the javascript gsub code i wouldn't change anything if you really want to change something and you're changing things in the html and in the css that would be the classes so that would be the only thing that you need to, to, to change here that's it absolutely nothing else of course there are use cases and use cases that this is the basic use case for this preloader if you want something else you would need to either put this code in chat gpt and ask it to do something for that thing for you i think it's pretty interesting right so let me know if you found this interesting if you're gonna use it how you're gonna use it and all the good stuff if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye